Use the following simple instructions to construct your new Gallagher Food Plot Protector electrical fence. These are the tools you will need to build your food plot protector fence. Hammer, pliers, knife, lighter, marker, and a post driver. Here are the products you will use to build your food plot protector fence. 48 inch fiberglass posts, turbo wire, turbo tape, fiberglass post clips, poly wire tighteners, a digital voltmeter, ground rods, and an energizer. Today we are using the B100 solar energizer. Step 1. To assemble a food plot fence, first determine the size and shape of the area you want to protect. A round shape is optimum. Try to avoid square corners. Step 2. Take half of the posts and lay them side by side. Make three marks from the bottom of the posts up at 18 inches, 28 inches, and 42 inches. These posts will be used for the inner fence. Step 3. Now take the other half of the posts and lay them side by side. Mark each at 18 inches and 36 inches from the bottom. These posts will be used for the outer fence. Step 4. Start by driving one of the inner fence posts into the ground to the first mark, the 18 inch mark. These posts are the ones with three markings on them. Step 5. Next, measure 30 inches out from the post and drive one of the outer fence posts into the ground to the first mark, the 18 inch mark. These posts are the ones with two markings on them. Step 6. Now measure 10 steps or 30 feet and repeat steps 5 and 6 until you are completely around your food plot. Step 7. Tie turbo wire to one of the inner fence posts, which we will call the corner post. Start by putting the fiberglass post clip in the bottom marked hole. Then tie the turbo wire off to the post. Next, unroll the wire around the perimeter of all posts back to the starting point. Step 8. Cut the turbo wire, leaving enough wire so you can tie off onto the corner post. Leave around 2 to 3 feet of wire. Slide an XLT8 tightener onto the turbo wire and locate it midway around the perimeter. I'm good. Step 9. Tie the turbo wire off on the corner post, pulling the extra wire out of the fence as you tie the wire off. For step 10, repeat steps 7, 8, and 9, tying the turbo wire and attaching the XLT8 tightener using your top mark at 24 inches above the ground. Step 11. Attach the turbo wire to the fiberglass post using the post clips. Start with the top wire, attaching it to the top marked hole and then the bottom wire to the bottom marked hole. Your wire spacing should be 10 inches off the ground for the bottom wire and 24 inches off the ground for the top wire. Step 12. Now you're ready to assemble the outer fence portion of the food plot protector fence. Start by putting the fiberglass post clip in the only marked hole. This should be 18 inches above the ground. Then tie off the half inch turbo tape to the post. Step 13. Unroll the turbo tape off of the end of the spool around the perimeter of the outer fence. The turbo tape should have a spiral or corkscrew appearance. Step 14. 
Cut the turbo tape, leaving enough wire so that you can tie off on the corner post. Leave around six extra feet of tape. You will need this later to connect the fence to the energizer. Slide the XLT8 tightener onto the turbo tape and locate it midway around the perimeter. Step 15. Tie the turbo tape off on the corner post, pulling the extra wire out of the fence as you tie the wire off. Step 16. Attach the turbo tape to each post using the post clips at the only mark, which is 18 inches above the ground. Step 17. Repeat step 16 for the rest of the posts on the outside fence. Step 18. At the corner post, take the two extra lengths of turbo wire and tie them together. Step 19. Take the extra turbo tape from the outside fence and tie it to the corner post of the inside fence. Trim all the wires and tape so that you have about three to six inch tails. Step 20. Take a match or cigarette lighter and burn the plastic off the six inch extra length of each wire and tape. Twist the six inch metal wires remaining firmly together. Step 21. Go to the XLT tighteners and tighten each wire until any visible sag is eliminated. Make sure not to over tighten. Finally, you're ready to power up and ground your Gallagher food plot protector fence. Step one, put the battery in the energizer and make sure both connections are made between the battery and the energizer. Step two, connect the power fence leads to the B100 energizer the red wire to the red terminal and the green wire to the green terminal. Step 3. Next to the corner post, where you will be placing the energizer, drive one six-foot ground rod into the ground with six inches remaining out of the ground. This will accommodate up to a two-acre food plot. Add one ground rod for each additional two acres up to a maximum of three total ground rods. Additional ground rods should be placed a minimum of 10 feet apart. Step four, locate the energizer inside the inner fence next to the corner post you chose at the beginning with the solar panel facing south. Step five, take the green alligator clip and connect it to the ground rod. Take the red alligator clip and connect it to the top wire of the inner fence. Finish by turning the energizer on. If you need more than one ground, use the Gallagher Complete 3 Ground Rod Kit. Step 6. Test all three wires with an Econo DVM. You should have at least 3,000 volts on each wire. Congratulations! You're finished assembling your Gallagher food plot protector fence.